Hi everyone, CG Seb here, and we are back for another tutorial. Uh, this will be a quick tutorial on how to use decal info decal from decal machine. So those ones with the text, uh, the image one. Um, how to use them with Fluent Materializer. So if you don't have the two add-ons, uh, the link will be in the description, and then you can follow along this tutorial. So I've made the basic object with a smart material on it. Uh, this is made with Fluent Materializer, and we're gonna learn how to um, actually affect this decal here. So usually when you have a decal, you just press D and project it. So it looks good, it's on the surface, but it looks new, like it's not used, there is no uh, damage on it, and we want to make it more realistic. So we're going to use the material from this uh, to affect that. So it's easy, you just select your main object where you have your fluent material on it, and then you're going to select everything you have except the principal shader here. So you're going to press Ctrl C to copy all the nodes. You're going to click on your decal and Ctrl V. We're going to move all of this around here. All right. So how to affect this? First, we're going to play with the normal. So we're going to use the normal of this object on this. And we can start seeing that it is affecting actually the paint of this. So it's like painted on the surface and uh, yeah, the normal is affecting it. Uh, we can also play with the roughness. Boom. So it matches the, the object. Okay, so that's cool, but it still looks really new to me. So we're gonna use the alpha channel here to like make it a little bit destroyed. So you're gonna go to the front menu, go to grunges here and select grunges number three, for example. We're gonna move the node at the bottom and we're gonna plug the result into the alpha. And boom, we start seeing some like destroy stuff here. It looks pretty good. Uh, you can play with the scale and you can also play with the coverage to make it more affecting, more or less, the decal. So I'm gonna put something like that. Uh, all right, looks nice. The only step that we need to do is actually make it like the dirt that is here affecting the color of this because the color of this is actually pure white and we want this dirt to go on the the white of this part so we cannot really see it right now but if i actually play with the coverage we're gonna see that here it should be brown so the reason for that is that we need to mix the color of this uh, with another color. So we're going to use Fluent Materializer, press F, go to Mixing Layers and drag it onto this. It's going to show in red because you need to plug the color here into the base color. So as you can see, nothing's changed. But now we have the ability to use the mask and the color here. Uh, so we're, go we're gonna find where this dirt grunge is here is, and then we're gonna use it as a mask. So the mask here, plug it here. And now it looks orange. It's weird. But the reason for that is because we have here the color orange and we need the color of the dirt, which is here. We can just plug the color of the dirt into the second color 
and we have it. Now we can see the dirt on the, the decal. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Quick tutorial on how to use decal machine with Fluent Materializer. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe and see you on the next one.